Recent software upgrades allow Ingenuity to fly over rugged terrain while autonomously adjusting its altitude. Here's how it handled a scouting mission up and over terrain at the front of the Delta on this episode of Mars Guy. As I presented in the previous episode, Perseverance has finished dropping off 10 sample tubes in a backup depot for two future helicopters to pick up if needed. Having completed what's referred to as the Delta Front Campaign, it's now poised for the Delta Top Campaign. From the sample depot, cameras on board Perseverance got a preview of the Delta Top, and from the perspective of astrobiology, it's not ideal. The telescope on SuperCam shot this mosaic of images. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Notice the big rounded boulders and smaller cobbles. They were carried onto the delta by raging flash floods. This shows that the delta was not always a tranquil environment where muds accumulated to ultimately form mudstone. It's mudstones that are best able to preserve evidence of microbial life if it ever existed on Mars. Perseverance has already found mudstones, complete with evidence for organic matter, just below an escarpment known as Rocky Top. The lowest rocks of this feature are coarse sandstones rather than mudstones, also not ideal for preserving microbes. The upper layers were out of reach for Perseverance, but not to ingenuity now that it can handle rugged terrain. Despite the dramatic early animations of Ingenuity flying over rugged Martian landscapes, it was not designed to do this. Remember, it was just supposed to show that a helicopter could fly in the thin Martian atmosphere, which has a density comparable to Earth's at an altitude of about 100,000 feet, where weather balloons can fly, as we're reminded of by recent reports. Ingenuity's latest flight, number 41 of a planned five flights, was intended to scout the upper surface of Rocky Top and send back high-resolution color images, which can help the team decide whether to send Perseverance for a closer look. Ingenuity typically flies straight up to an altitude of 10 meters above the ground and then flies horizontally to its destination. If it had done that going to Rocky Top, it might have been the final flight. Thanks to its software upgrade, Ingenuity has onboard digital elevation maps to help its sensors distinguish between changes in terrain and vehicle movement, which allows it to change altitude rather than just position. That let Ingenuity fly safely above Rocky Top, where it captured these color images, starting with a close-up view at the rocky edge. The fractured light tone bedrock is covered with small sand ripples, including this notably Z-shaped grouping. Although intriguing, it's the rocks underneath, with what looks like thin layers, that are more interesting. Maybe these are mudstones like the ones below Rocky Top, perhaps worthy of an investigation by Perseverance. This was the endpoint for Ingenuity's flight, where it hovered briefly and then flew back along the same route, capturing some dramatic bird's-eye views of the rugged landscape. It landed in a slightly different location than where it took off from, choosing the side of a smooth sand ripple, apparently terrain favored by its new hazard avoidance software. A few saws later, Ingenuity shot a color image from the ripple, capturing the coarse sand grains and small pebbles that armor ripples like these. But maybe it was targeting Rocky Top off in the distance to show the world its latest conquest. 